morning 100 milers. The weather is shaping up to be lovely today. Jim is currently out at a kickboxing class and then he is going to be home around about lunchtime. So I've just spent the morning editing the vlog from yesterday to load on. I usually do them in the evening, but yesterday I was just too tired. So I left it until this morning and just got up a bit earlier. Um, so I think today we're going to go in the garden and um, let the boys play outside today. It's now 10 to 10 in the morning. Um, Oscar is still asleep at the moment and I'm just letting him sleep today because I think out of everybody he's suffering with his cold the most. Henry and Jackson seems to have already disappeared. So I wanted to today just talk about our different food options and I will do that once I've had a chance to go and sit in the garden. We can definitely go outside. We're gonna have some food and then we're gonna go out, okay? So once I manage to get everyone in the garden, then I will sit down and have a chat with you about our food choices. So we um, we started off eating the standard sort of Western diet, I guess. We ate takeaways quite frequently. Um, we I tried to cook from scratch all the time anyway, um, but we ate you know, normal sort of English meals. Um, we ate a lot of pasta, a lot of bread. Um, and Jim and I were chronically ill. Over the next few weeks, we will go a bit more in depth about our health problems that we encountered over the years, but we were not well people. After I had Henry, I saw a sign outside of a chiropractor's office that said, are you sick and tired of being sick and tired? And I thought, yes, I am. So I called them, um, booked in to go and see the chiropractor. And, and from that moment, really, I started to reclaim my health. Um, the chiropractors were awesome. We ended up seeing them for um, about two years and they became very good friends and um, we learned a lot from them. I'd noticed myself that if I didn't eat breakfast, um, I would feel better in the day. So that became my general eating um, plan was to not start eating until around about 11 o'clock in the morning. Then we had Henry, we went to see the chiropractor and uh, the chiropractors obviously recommended that we stop eating gluten, um, which we did and we immediately felt 70% better. The trouble was we didn't stop eating gluten forever. We kind of ate it once a week or a couple of times a week. We would have cheat days where we'd go and, you know, buy like pastries and donuts and all sorts. It wasn't until we stopped eating dairy and the reason why we stopped eating dairy was because Henry, when he was a baby, had horrendous eczema and the only thing that stopped his eczema was to not eat gluten and dairy. Oscar also has cow's milk protein intolerance, which is what sort of triggered me to check Henry's diet. And as soon as we removed those two things from his diet, his eczema cleared up, his runny nose went away and his health generally picked up. So we decided as a family that we would cut out all gluten and all dairy. So it's been about four years now um, that we've not eaten gluten and dairy, but really religiously, it's been probably a year that we've not eaten gluten for at all. We've completely avoided it. I've since that point subsequently been diagnosed with celiac disease and so has Henry. Um, Jim, we suspect, has also got celiac disease and all of us don't react very well to gluten or dairy. Jim and I occasionally will have um, a bit of dairy if we're um, maybe on holiday or something where it's kind of hard to avoid it, but we don't give it to the boys at all because they their eczema flares up really badly. So we did try a few years ago, probably two years ago, to do a paleo diet and that really helped us. Um, it probably took us up to 90% health cutting all of the grains out of our diet really helped with the inflammation levels in our body we stopped getting um, aches and pains that we were getting um, and joint problems and we had a lot of a lot more energy unfortunately this time round of doing paleo we don't seem to have noticed a marked difference in how we feel and i think that's because we've got to a point where we gen generally feel quite well yeah so the thing that we gained the most benefit from overall was 
firstly cutting out the gluten and the dairy but then also intermittent fasting so we would eat within a a window of time um so jim would have a bigger window of like six to eight hours um, i was having a smaller window of about four to six hours um, and that's when we got the most benefit we stopped getting like aches and pains in our joints we were yeah, not I was surprising how effective it was really yeah we were not having that sort of afternoon slump either once our bodies got used to not eating until like 3 p.m it became kind of easy to do yeah, didn't it yeah. then the trouble is we went on a couple of holidays and while we were on holiday we were sort of eating out earlier than what we would have done normally and we should yeah. have really just carried yeah, on keeping it in trouble, the window but we yeah. didn't but then um, you get yourself into a bit of a slope, don't you? So you end up eating breakfast again every day, don't you? And yeah, you I think meals. you forget like that hunger goes away if you ignore it and you sort of start becoming a bit like obsessive about, oh, I'm hungry so I better eat. But anyway, so we tried paleo. It's not working for us this time. It's more so the boys because they're obviously growing and they've been hungry all day and we've been really struggling to like feed them um, yeah, enough. Don't wanna keep giving them meat all the time you know yeah and obviously there's the worry about like processed meat as well i don't really want them eating too much meat because meat on its own is inflammatory so yeah. now jim and i are going to fast again um and for the boys we're going to try and remain mostly grain free but give them a bit of rice um a bit of gluten-free pasta and a bit of potatoes and stuff i think we're going to try and avoid the bread for now and like cereals and things like that because they're just no good at all but hopefully that will see an improvement and yeah as i said jim and i are going to be back on our intermittent fasting hi guys how you all doing sorry i've not vlogged much today um just been flat out busy i went training this morning um and then got back and had a few things to do um we've just been out in the garden today really it's a lovely day today so we've just sort of spent the afternoon out there with the boys yeah we did um watch a little bit of uh prince harry and Meghan Markle's wedding today. So big congratulations to them. Looked really, like a really good ceremony. So I'm gonna leave the vlog there guys and we'll be back tomorrow. Bye bye.